Hi, um, in this video, I will teach you how to set up the Huawei E560 Pocket Wi-Fi. So first, we will learn how to change the password of your device, of your Pocket Wi-Fi. And then number two is we will set it up for Globe, for Smart, and for Sun. So we are doing number two because I am using an open line Huawei E560 so it's not locked to globe or to smart or to sun so if you have an open line pocket Wi-Fi you can use any um, any sim any broadband sim and you can even use it um, when you travel to other countries and then lastly I will teach you how to use the internet or how to connect to the internet using your pocket Wi-Fi so this is how your um, device looks like this is the Huawei E560 model then when you open it this is the battery and then this is my Sun SIM here you will see the uh, model number E560 it's not very clear here in the video in the picture and then here you will see the Wi-Fi key or the password. This is the password of your um, device. So I have enlarged it here. So it's important, especially when it's your first time to use your device, to copy your Wi-Fi key because this is the password so that you will be able to connect um, to your Wi-Fi device. So after copying, you first is to turn on the device. When you turn it on, you will see on the screen in my Wi-Fi, you can see I have a sun written here because I'm using the sun sim. So if you're using smart or globe, it will appear here, globe or smart. And then you can also see here the life of your battery. So it's already low bat. And then um, here is um, an envelope uh, image because that um, that is your inbox. So your SIM is like um, when you're using a cell phone, you can receive uh, and send messages using this pocket Wi-Fi. So here, it's not very clear, but it says how many um, unread messages I have. And then this is the signal. So the signal of sun right now, it's, um, it's strong and it's 3G. So this changes depending on the signal from the, from your location. So sometimes it's 3G, sometimes it's 2G, sometimes it says HSDPA, so high speed internet. So when you uh, have turned on your device, what normally happens is your gadget, your laptop, your iPhone, um, Wi Fi cell phone, um, iPad, or tablet will be able to detect your device. So here I'm using a Windows laptop. If I click here, um, I will be able to see um, my device from the wireless network connection. Normally, the when you use your device, your pocket Wi-Fi for the first time, what you will see here in the list is something like this. The name of your device will be mobile Wi-Fi dash and then a combination of numbers and um, one or two letters um, but since I have already changed um, the name of my pocket Wi-Fi I will choose from here the name of my Wi-Fi is no connection so and then I will click course connect and then it will ask for a key so when um, 
when you are asked for the for the key so you will um, use the Wi-Fi key that I have shown you here I showed this earlier this is the password that you will type well, here so we will type it here Okay, so it um, it is now connected to your device. My computer is now connected to my device, but I'm not yet connected to the internet. So there are two connections that you have to do to be able to connect to the internet. So first is you have to connect to a network, and your network is your um, Huawei packet Wi-Fi. So that's the first step to connect to your pocket Wi-Fi. So once you are connected, you will see a you will see a message like this. So this appears in a Windows uh, computer. Additional logon information may be required. So the next step is for us to connect to the internet. To do that, we have to open a browser and then um, go to the to this address 192.168.1.1 so remember 192.168.1.1 and then um, this is where you will be directed you will see here the life of your battery so in my case I am charging my battery right now that's why you can see it here and then um, the wireless LAN is on the wireless LAN is your um, pocket Wi-Fi your Huawei device and then this is your um, new message or SMS um, icon so if you have a new message it will appear here so and this one says that my sim card is valid and this is the signal of my network right now so it says it's a strong signal and then this is the roaming icon and then um this one is the um, wireless area network or it's my internet um Right now, we are disconnected to the internet. We have not yet done the connection. We have only connected to the Wi-Fi device. So, to continue, we have to enter a password. This time in this interface, the password is the same as your username. So, your username is admin. You will type in admin and then log in. Okay, so this shows the status of my internet connection right now. Um, I am not yet connected. So and then this is the this is my password. I can click this to um, to see my now password. If I click this. So this is the wireless LAN basic settings. This is where um, we will change the password and the name of your um, device. So here, the name of your device, in my case, it's no connection. So when, um, when my computer or other gadgets detect my device, this is what will appear in the list of wireless networks no connection so you can change it to um, for example if I want to change it to um, to another another name um, this is mine for example and then um, here I'll just delete it and enter uh, password that I want to use.
So think of a password that's easy for you to remember, but it's not but it's not easy for other people to guess. So once you've done that, click apply here. So it says success. So and then um, we will go back to connection, click connection. Okay, um, an important note, once you have um, changed the password, so it says web page is not available because we have changed the name of our Wi-Fi and the password. So here you will see we are not, we are disconnected again from the device. That is because we changed the password and the the name, the Wi-Fi name. So we will click here again and then look for the for our device. So now I have changed it to this name. This is mine. So this is the new name of my Wi-Fi. So I'll click here and then connect. And then enter the new password that Okay. So it's now trying to connect to the device. So now we are connected to the device once you see um, an image like this one. And then again you go to 192.168.1.1 and then log in using admin as your password for this page okay so now we can go to click connection settings and then profile management Click profile management. So, at first, um, if it's your first time to to use your device, you will not see a profile like this. Normally, it's um, blank profile, or it it only has a name like, for example, D, meaning default. I think that's the meaning of that. So to add. Um, your sim that you are the sim that you are using you have to go to profile management and then this page will appear and then you have to click new new profile okay in the new profile you have to put the name of your network you can also use another name if you want but for you to remember easily or recognize easily the network that you want to use you can just since I'm using Sun I'll use Sun and then um, you don't have to put a username and a password and this is the important part that we have to fill in so this is the the setting for uh, the Sun network using a prepaid SIM. So when you are using a postpaid um, SIM card, SIM broadband, um, there is a different uh, setting. So copy this. Remember this um, setting, the APN static. This is the setting that you will. Um, put in and then authentication is PAP and then IP address 
is um, dynamic okay so here so authentication it's already PAP and then the APM should be static and as we have seen a while ago the APN setting is static internet and the IP address is dynamic so once you have um, filled this up remember you don't have to put a username and a password here but if you want you can do that you just click save and then once you save it okay it says the profile name already exists because I already have that in my um, profile so I'm gonna close this but remember this is the setting and then once you have done that your when you go back to connection you can see your um, Sun network or whatever network you have put in there so now you're ready to connect to the internet and if you want to add another network like globe um, Sun uh, globe or smart you can just um, click profile management so you are directed to this um, page again and then just click new profile again and then type in the network name in the profile name so globe and then um, you have to also click static here and then the there's another setting which I will show later on I will put in the description below this video you can just copy and paste that and then the IP address is dynamic then you click Save and you have a new profile then you do it again if you want to add um, another network so we will go back to connections so now since we have set up our profile we are now ready to connect to the internet but since I am using a prepaid um, broadband sim I have to load it so right now um, all my load has been consumed so I have to load so if you click the SMS you will see your inbox so all the messages that I have received are here and I can also send um, messages to to other network to other cell phones I can uh, do that using this pocket Wi-Fi so first I will um, I will send a load to my to my sim okay so now I have um, passed or sent a load to my son it appears here in the inbox in one of the messages so my latest message is this so it says I you have received uh, SBW 50 and you can use this to load access to internet on your phone anytime anywhere so what I have passed to myself to my Wi-Fi is um, one day unlimited internet surfing using Sun so I can just close this and go back to connections so since I am using Sun I'll click Sun and then click connect okay so you will see this um, this button has changed to disconnect meaning I am already connected or you will notice 
this globe image or icon turned into blue the color has changed and it says um, I'm connected so now I am ready to use the internet so we will close this browser if you look at your um, pocket Wi-Fi device you will notice that there are some um, images that is added to your screen to your display so um, the internet icon or the globe image um, is now added it means that you are connected to the to the internet and then um, the Wi-Fi this word says Wi-Fi it has a number beside it you cannot clearly see it but it says number one so it changes depending on how many um, devices are connected to your pocket Wi-Fi so the number there is the number of devices connected to you so right now it's one it's just my laptop and the network has changed to H um, a while ago it was 3G so the um, this changes depending on the um, signal of your um, of your network so what we will do now is to reopen um, the browser notice here that your um, Wi-Fi icon has changed and you will see the message that says you're connected to this is my Wi-Fi and that you have internet access so let's try and open the browser again and then let's try to visit a, a site okay so here um, we can see that we have connected to uh, a site the Yahoo Mail and that our Wi-Fi is working so I will put under the description below this video the settings for uh, smart Sun and globe I hope you uh, learned something from this video and that this is helpful to to you thanks for watching bye bye